All right, guys, good morning and welcome to the, I believe is the second last, uh, second last um, stand up for this batch. I hope everybody is excited. For me, it's a little bit of a bittersweet kind of um, feeling uh, that, oh my God, it's already week 12 and I know Danette, um, it's, it's the same feeling I have. I'm like, oh my God. So um, we, we, we are closing up to uh, temporarily parting ways with regards to the tutorials and all the daily sessions. It's a good thing, yes. Um, it's an exciting thing, yes, because it means that, um, you know, we've had a lot to learn and it's time to put it into practice and get to another level in terms of our um, uh, our lives and our life goals. So I would say kudos to you all for making it this far. Um, yeah, you basically survived all the way here. So um, I hope you guys are doing well this morning. Uh, on my end, I feel a bit sleepy. That's why my video is off. Uh, it's more like, I don't know. I didn't sleep really well last night. Uh, but I think uh, it's because I've been traveling since Friday. I was in Kampala for a few days. Then I'm in Nairobi. So I think the, the weather changes have been um, affecting me and my sleep and my routines a little bit. But all good on my end. So we are going to dive straight into um, getting some updates as we wait for others to kind of join us. We get some updates from any of you guys, whoever wants to go first, you can just put your hand up and then we get started with the updates. How is everything going? How is the challenge coming along? Um, are we in the line and are we on track in terms of confident about submitting on time, any blockers that we can work on. So it's it's your time now. I think I've, I've said a lot. So who wanna go first? Who wants to go first? Oh, ma'am, Rafa, how are you doing Rafa today? Hello, Mari, morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, um, yeah, I mean, about like being the second last stand up, it's just like shedding tears. It's um, it's sad to hear that. But yeah, as we are like starting a new journey, that's really nice. So uh, just in terms of update of this, um, this challenge of this week, I do have a blocker that uh, it seems relative to country issues. When I try to install and download both grids, uh, it's like it's say permission denied. And also for the instance that I had for Snowflake, uh, I mean, for all the databases um, and instances, it's just giving me the same problem. It say that uh, it seems to be like country issue so i really don't know what uh, like i tried to uh reach out to some of my fellow and Didia helped me by signing from his country from there and it managed it worked in the beginning then the instance suddenly just like again uh stopped working so okay yeah. so basically temporarily worked but it's not working anymore Yes, it seems like I don't know how the APIs know the location or I don't know exactly what's happened, but it just told me that um, I, I, I think I just made a screenshot for that. I yeah, I'm about to share it in the Slack. So yeah, yeah, we will All know right. more about it. I think we do have Desmond here, but before we we kind of hear from Desmond, probably he might be able to help. Is there anyone else facing similar blocker? Uh, to to Rafa's or has faced the same and tackled it in a different way. That uh, from the from the trainee, anybody who has faced the similar one, and if not, then um, 
uh, Desmond could help uh, on that on that note. Okay, I see nobody has their hand raised. So Desmond, hi Desmond, are you? Uh, did you hear uh, uh, Rafa's blocker? Is it something that uh, you'd be able to assist at the moment? Um, hi, good morning. Um, I think I had she was not able to um, to install Postgres. Yes. Uh, okay. I think maybe um, we could look into that maybe after the stand up. All right, yeah. Rafa, is that does that work for you? So you can just. Um, uh, side side chat with Desmond on the side so that he's able to kind of identify the actual diagnosis of your problem. Does that work? Yeah, sure. Actually, I included that in the entrance of machine yesterday. So okay. uh, yeah, the screenshot. So yeah, hopefully it's worth I don't know. Um, but I think because I mean, I face this uh, with many sites, it seems like relative to being uh, Sudan is one of the banned country from uh, many things. So, yeah, I, mean, I don't know how to be solved, but let's see. Yeah, I, I think given that you're the only uh, person here within the community who's from Sudan, it's hard to compare to anyone else. Exactly. So I, think, I believe it's going to be easier for you to walk uh, through the the situation you're facing with Desmond, he might be able to identify what the problem is and probably work it out uh, sooner than later. Um, I, I, uh, as you could hear, he's he would be available immediately after after this session. So you'd rather reach out to him and sort it out sooner than later. Does that work? Yes, sure. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, um, and hope that works out. Okay, anyone else? Today people seem very quiet and very relaxed. Is it, Are people starting to reflect about um, the end of cohort week? Uh, this week has been a little bit quiet, so I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's finish strong. I'm still waiting to see any other hand up. It's too early to pinpoint. Okay, I will go with Daisy, then Des, then then Biniam. Um, thank you, Mary. Good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, for my progress, I was able to submit my submissions yesterday in good time. Apart from the apart from the um, interim report, um, my laptop had a lot of issues hanging, so I delayed in the submission of that. Um, and for that same reason, I'm struggling with like my technical um, tasks because I, I I keep have to I have to keep restarting my laptop in order to make progress. So for that, I'm trying to get another laptop. Hopefully, I'll get it by tomorrow and uh, be able to end up on the task because it's clear in like the implementation for me. Um, so that's my update and it feels very, I want to cry because it's like the very last week for the cohort um, in the second last stand up, but all is well. Thank you. So by all is well, what do you mean? How, how are you feeling exactly? Like we are interested in knowing, it might not be what we might understand, but how are you feeling being in the second last stand up? I feel very nostalgic because I don't know. <laughs> it had sort of become part of my routine to just know that even if I'm going to wake up at ten fifty, mm -hmm. I have to clock in for stand up. So it's just attachment issues. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. It's um, it's a, it's a bittersweet kind of a feeling. All right, thank you so much. And we really hope you get that sorted out uh, so that you're able to kind of um, complete your final task in um, to complete it strong and in style as usual. All right, thank you so much for sharing. Binium, if you can hear me, good morning. Good morning, Mary. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, 
to give you an update. Uh, yeah, so far it's going good. Uh, I have been able to uh, make yesterday's submission and uh, so far I have not had any blockers since uh, the project is mostly a continuation of uh, last week's uh, uh, assignments. Uh, uh, it's not much of uh, difficult, uh, but uh, it's quite interesting uh, to have the opportunity to explore different uh, alternative technologies. And uh, today I'll be work. Uh, start. I'll I'll be starting to work on SuperSate. Other than that, uh, being the last week of the program, I've also been a bit nostalgic, like uh, Daisy and. Uh, yeah, it's kind of great, uh, but at the same time, it's hard. So, yeah, uh, that's that's it from my side. Good to know. Good to know, and 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 rightfully so. I've been. I've realized that this week everybody has seemed a bit, a, a bit quieter, a bit. You know, it was interesting. So in week eleven, it was more like nobody, like you could not be contained. There was a lot of excitement, a lot of chit chat, uh, even, you know, in sessions and in CBS sessions and all that. Then when we transitioned to week 12, I think it's uh, the reality check kicked in and everybody's like, oh my goodness, this is happening. We are getting done with this. So I think there's been an interesting switch there. So, uh, Rehmet, I've seen your comment. She's saying that uh, she's saying that the mic is not working. Yesterday, I were I was working on a project, and still will keep continue doing that today. But I had a blocker yesterday with electricity, electric city, for a little while. Um, other than that, all is well. Thank you, Rehmet, for the updates. And anyway, we hope the electricity situation isn't up so that you're able to also finish your week 12 task in style. So anyone else willing to share with us? We want to hear any blockers, um, updates, the people who are not able to submit the interim reports. You know, you can tell us a little bit about that and how you're feeling, you know, as we are seeing the finishing line just around the corner anyone else all right i will start my ascending stroke descending order today i'm going to to start from um yididia yididia do you want to give us some updates on your end uh, uh hello can, can you hear me hello i can hear you well oh okay great uh, I wasn't sure if my marks were working. Uh, okay, so to give an update, I think everything is going well. Uh, no blockers so far, and uh, I've managed to submit yesterday's submission, interim submission, both the report and the GitHub link. Uh, yes, no Any blockers on your end? None so far. Okay, and how are you feeling about the second last standard? Uh, I think we'll I will definitely miss the training in the working on the challenge documents in the community as well. But uh, I also feel like uh, it's a new start for us all to start something on something new and challenge ourselves even more than we've been challenged by the challenge documents and all of the assignments. Uh, because now we'll start exploring on our own and that will be new beginning for us in the interesting that's a, that's actually a very uh interesting point there so would you say that uh, you know it's that moment where now it's more of uh a reflective period for you as you're reflecting on what's coming next is that yes yes how you describe the, feeling okay yes definitely because i think it's uh now is the time that everyone is reflecting on what we've been doing and what our passion is and what we want to do or work on next because i think this is the week that everyone is trying to work on the project that they are interested in and choosing the making sure that they have chose the right track for their next career and 
uh, I think uh, that's that's really important for us and it's an important week for us all. Thank you very much, Ididia, for sharing your updates and for raising that interest. You know, actually, now it makes a lot more sense in terms of um, why the switch of the, you know, the mood from all like excitement to, oh, wow. So it's about, wow, so we are done, then what's next? Okay, that's a good one. Thank you so much. Now, um, today I feel a, a little bit random as well. You know, I also want to, to, to conclude this week in style. So I will, would like to hear from Amon. So it's going to be a random approach. Oh no, Amon, did you just text? Okay, okay, let's hear from, uh, from, um, from Titus. Titus, if you can hear me, uh, just update us on what's going on on your end. We just want to hear a little bit from you. Project wise. And oh, okay, thank you, Mary. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Okay, okay. Good morning. Are you able to hear me? I'm doing great. Um, yeah, project wise, uh, I'm still uh, completing, uh, I'm like working, still working on the project. I haven't like done the migration that I'm required to do. So uh, basically, I'm still like, uh, I'm yet to complete what I was supposed to do last week. And um, I also made uh, the submissions in time yesterday night after going through what I'm required to do with the new technologies. So um, today, uh, by I think after the session, I'll have, I'll, probably be completed. So I'm hoping to start one of the migrations uh, today in the in the evening. So yeah, so far so good. And uh, with regard to how I feel about um, an academy of the program or coming to the end of it, yeah, it seems so fast. Like, yeah, it, it just happened so fast. Like I, I just, yesterday I was like reflecting, I was like, wow, those three months were the fastest three months I've ever had. And like, yeah, just like I'll join everybody in saying that, yeah, it's really nostalgic. Um, so basically, yeah, that's 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 what I've been up to, and uh, yeah, how I feel about, yeah, at the moment, yeah. Awesome, thanks, Titus. Thank you very much for sharing, and I totally understand how you are feeling. It's um, it's an interesting moment in time. Now let's hear, um, hmm, yeah, you're right, Mariam. I think for Titus, it's been the, the fastest three months ever. Okay, let's hear from um, anyone else who wants to volunteer before I go ahead with my randomness. Deny it. Deny it. Do you want to um, update us on what's going on with you? How are you feeling? Hi, um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ah, today you sound a bit more lively than many. Ah, okay. <laughs> so yesterday I, I did submit my work on time and I'm planning on working today on the non-technical assignments. So no blockers so far about the end of the program. Yeah, like Tati said, it was fast. At first it was going slowly, but now it ended so fast, so yeah, and uh, mixed and feelings of uh, nervousness and excitement, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so can you explain a little bit about the nervousness? What are you nervous about? Uh, about what's coming next and, okay. uh, yeah. And excitement about the achievements, I, I assume. Yes, yeah, true. Well, that's a good way to put it and rightfully so you should feel that way, but I'm glad all is going well. And in case of any blockers in between now and tomorrow, you know what to do. Now the drill is very clear. Reach out to the community with regards to your, um, your task. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, um, I'm, I'm assuming the, the next person knows themselves. I, I'm assuming people have grasped uh, the pattern that I'm using because, as you said, um, this it's a group of smart brains. I don't know how they're called in terms of like a group of smart brains thing, but I'll stick to a group of smart brains. So I'm sure you guys have 
now know what okay mariam the smarties okay well, let's work with the smarties uh, okay now let's hear from uh tewodros tewodros how are you doing today if you can hear me just unmute uh, i'm doing good Mary. good morning everyone good morning uh, so yesterday uh, i was working on the interim submission and uh, i've managed to submit it on time and uh, today uh, my plan is to work on on the implementation and also start on the non-technical assignment. And uh, with regards to the end of this of this program, uh, uh, I, I, I share the similar feelings with everyone. It's a mixed feeling. Uh, uh, there's the, the sadness uh, as one chapter closes, but I'm also excited for what's next. So uh, I'm, I'm sharing similar feelings as well. Good to know, good to know. And and does that make you a bit nervous about what's next? Yeah, uh, because so far we've been going through a sort of a guided environment, but from I think from the next chapter is going to be more of on our own and we're going to be basically working on with ourselves and the guidance part would, would, would be slightly less as compared to the past three months. So it's kind of, I'm feeling a bit nervous for that, but I'm also yeah. excited. Okay, and just a quick uh, problem. Just curious, are you are you confident that now you can, uh, you know, feeling confident that you can walk on your own past the twelve? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm confident. Awesome. That's that's all you need. You need the confidence. You need you need the self belief that now you're ready. You're equipped. Uh, to stand on your own, you're equipped to face um, this tough world. And once you have that, nothing can stop you. You know, they usually say um, the biggest blocker in our success is our, our own self. So once you start doubting yourself, once you start uh, feeling a bit more of inferior to what you're able to do, that is the beginning of disaster. So great to hear people have confidence and i hope we continue having that all right thank you very much the word rose now we'll go straight to henok henok how are you this morning and do you mind unmuting and updating us on what's going on on your end yeah yeah uh i'm good i hope everyone is well uh, so i do feel uh the same feelings everyone is feeling it's a little bit of everything uh regarding my submission i submitted it on time there are no uh, blockers on my end and i'm planning to finish the project early and uh, get started on uh, some applications that i have uh, like uh, identified and also uh, getting to work on the capstone project but yeah uh so it's you a little have bit bitter sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you said you have um, a, a number of applications lined up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Are, are they like uh, super interesting in terms of like, are they applications that you really want to or like exciting on your end? Looking forward there, to? There are a couple of that I'm really interested in. Okay. All right, go for it and all the best. Go for it with all the courage, with all the confidence. And of course, um, the, the, the trick is to keep going, keep going. All right, thank you so much, Henok, for sharing with us. I'm glad there's no blocker uh, so far. Tesfai, Tesfai, can you hear me? If you can, uh, just quickly update us. We want to hear a little bit about your sentiments and how you're feeling about the second loss. Uh, stand up and about your steps ahead and your weekly. Okay. okay, Mary, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, uh, so on the weekly challenge, uh, it's going okay. No blockers by my side. Uh, I've submitted the interim submissions in time and I'll be working on it uh, today and probably tomorrow too. Um, on the entire um, training, you know, I, I, feel, I feel like 
I've learned a lot and some of the problems that I faced before, you know, learning in uh, Coursera and so on, not having a community that will uh, be able to help you and also uh, make it intensive so that you have to know uh, so much uh, things in uh, as little time as possible. And that has been achieved, I think, with STEM Academy for me. So um, yeah, I'm really uh, proud of that. In three months, knowing all the things that I've known is a big class for me. But uh, on the finish line, I have a mixed feeling too. Uh, and on one hand, I, f I feel like um, I want to get a job as soon as possible. Um, but on the other, on the on the other hand, um, I feel like I need like two weeks minimum to like prepare myself for interviews, prepare my um, non-technical parts, my LinkedIn, GitHub, and my projects also, uh, and also yeah to have a little rest so that I can be uh, ready for interviews and so on. So. Uh, in, in that part, I want um, the opportunity to come a little bit late, like two weeks after the mm -hmm. after the training ended. But yeah, that's my feeling uh, in this training, and it's, it's it's good so far. It's it's I mean it's a good personal plan. I, it's all about what works for you, and do not feel guilty for wanting to have a break. Do not feel guilty for. For, for 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 self care for self love for a bit so if you are exhausted the best way to go about it is have rest recharge and come back strong so do not feel um as if you're offending anybody or you're offending yourself for doing that so it's a valid uh, it sounds like um, a valid plan and the fact that you're not looking to to be sleeping around you're looking to you know take that rest as you're sharpening your knife. By sharpening your knife, I mean preparing your GitHub's uh, profiles and uh, LinkedIn and all that so that you're ready to go uh, on a high note. So yeah, but that, that sounds like a good plan to me. Everybody should have their own plan and what works for them. So that's a very good start. Thanks for sharing, Tis Faye. Um, and now uh, we hear a little bit from um, hmm, Jeremy. Okay, Matilda has their hand up. Jeremy, so just hold up. Uh, at least we have a vo volunteer. So we have Matilda first, then Jeremy goes next. Matilda, do you want to go? Yeah, good morning, Mary. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. And yourself? I'm so fine. It's um, cold in Nairobi. You guys <laughs> didn't give me a heads up. Oh my goodness, I'm freezing. It's <laughs> super cold. I, it's cold. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's cool really cool okay so as for my progress yesterday i wasn't able to do much i had some personal blockers that i really had to attend to and um yeah so i i will be continuing with where i stopped today and hopefully i will every, hopefully everything will go well so um my feeling in regards to the the training ending i don't know for me I think I have mixed feelings about it. Um, I'm happy that it's been a great learning experience. A lot of wealth of knowledge has been passed on to us and I'm hoping that I will get to further develop the skills that I have gained from Ten Academy to better my career. But there's also the other side. Um, it's It's been, okay, as you said, Mary, just now, it's, it's been exhausting. I think I have I've have had a couple of burnouts sometimes during the period and yeah for me rest is very much needed right after we're done and then um I'll just I'll resurface and work on work on everything that's required to be done for to get ready for for a job but overall it's been it's been really nice it's been a great experience and I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'm grateful um for that spa that I have come. Yeah, so thank you very much, Ten Academy. Hello. Hello, Mary. Oh, thank you, Matilda. Sorry, it was a bit noisy in the background. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for, for sharing. And it's 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 a very touching um 
uh, sentiments from you. And usually it's honestly, it has always been hard to come to speak after you because you have a very composed and a very, you know, yeah. So after you speak and I come back with my, my noisy tone, I feel like, oh my God, okay, this must be a messed up one. So thanks a lot for sharing. And uh, we, I, I, I hope um, everything goes well on your end. And I'm glad to hear you don't have a blocker with regards to uh, a, a particular technical blocker, but if it does occur, uh, you know what to do. Uh, you can always reach out to the community. Okay, so can we hear from Jeremy, then Shaka? Then guys, those who want to um, share, please feel free to raise your hand up. So Jeremy, if you can hear me, do you want to uh, go now? Mr. Photogenic? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, okay, uh, I work on an uh, intervention yesterday. Sorry, uh, Jeremy, we, can't, we can hardly hear you. You sound, seem to be very far away from the mic. How about now? Uh, now is perfect. <laughs> okay, I worked on an interim submission yesterday, uh, which I was able to finish in time. Uh, regarding to the blockers, uh, I had a power issue, but I managed to submit uh, on time. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to miss everything in terms of how I feel about this program coming to end. Uh, I believe I, I must try play for Bachik Segi. Uh, <laughs> and on the other hand, I'm, I'm eager to, work, to get to work. As that's why I said, I'm also uh, really eager to get to work, but I must take a, a week or two off before beginning my next phase. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Thanks a lot, Jeremy, for sharing that. And also, just to remind you, yeah, it's it's good to be hungry to work, to be eager to work. Just uh, just make sure it's the positive uh, hunger. It should be a hunger that motivates you rather than that makes you blame yourself or that makes you feel bitter about yourself. So let's uh, be careful about the sort of... Um, hunger we, we we are dealing with here so that it's a regulated so that um, you know how to manage some bits of disappointments here and there so that you keep going you don't um, you don't get soaked in um, in the waves of uh, of the journey itself all right mr shako kevin good morning good morning mary and everyone can you hear me yes loud and clear yeah, yesterday I was working on the interim deliverables, but I was not able to submit on time because of internet issues. But I submitted today in the morning. And uh, today I'm planning to work on the implementation of the whole project. And uh, I'm really excited as the training comes to end and uh, I'm eager to work, but I will need some time to to work on the like unfinished part of my project regarding the my career path and and uh, on like LinkedIn profile and others. Thanks. Ah, great, great to know, and uh, and great to know that you you know you, you know you're looking forward to completing uh, whatever tasks that you have not done yet to make sure that you're really ready uh, for the next steps. And also, well, what, what I would say from experience, uh, you, you've been, you guys have been together for, um, for 12 weeks. So this is a very solid uh, community and it's a very solid support group among us yourself. So it can be, you know, even beyond, beyond just uh, uh, the, the 10 Academy trainee, even more like an alumni sort of group. So you guys, I would say, I've, I've watched you build each other uh, across the 12 weeks. Um, you can continue doing that even when you go out there so that you continue supporting one another when one gets um, a job and faces a specific uh, maybe challenge or uh, a specific, um, a certain a certain path or um, a certain something happens to them, they are able to share with the rest so that everybody else is aware of what's going on out there. So guys, keep the community going and keep the support group stronger. 
All right. So who want to go next? Who has not said anything? We still have uh, about five minutes. So we can have two more people, three more people willing to share. Then we hear a little bit from them. Then we kind of, um, you know, call it, go to the next, uh, the closing session of it. So Nardos, we've not heard from you today. How are you? Nardos, are you there? All right. Okay, let's hear from, oh, she is typing. All right, no problem. Let's hear a little bit from um, Maron. Hello, Marion. So I shared on uh, the group chat box and uh, the, the noisy place. Okay, okay, no problem. I'll scroll through then uh, read some of your comments. Okay, we've not heard from Samuel. Samuel, it's been a while. How are you? Hello, Mary. Hello, everyone. Good to Good hear from you today. Yeah, good to hear to you too. So, to give you an update from my side, uh, was all uh, uh, the, today I worked on the challenge, submitted all the things on time. Uh, yeah, and I'm working forward to the graduation and to doing all the necessary work to prepare uh, to have and to finish up my projects that I haven't finished. Okay, and 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 how are you feeling about uh, you know getting to the end of the training? period uh, how does that make you feel tomorrow is the uh, last step. yeah i feel ready i guess mixed feelings okay but yeah first of all i'm ready awesome so amon says good morning i haven't been able to submit my github link yesterday it was because i was barely here last week uh, because of something, and this week, a bit uh, quite MIA. Um, last week, week, so I hope you're able to catch up and do as much. as you can to catch up with uh, with all the tasks that have been completed by your um, by your colleague um, now home you can just close for us this session and open for us the next session what do you think just give us a bit of some updates from your end okay good morning everyone so yesterday I was working on submitting the interim submissions and regards the feeling of how I'm feeling, uh, it's a mix of like disbelief, excitement and accomplishment. Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> exactly what I expected from Nahum. Nahum never spent anything beyond one minute. Very concise, straight to the point, and he is is definitely our guest for today. <laughs> he's, our, he's our player, our um, our hot seat player for today. So you can imagine, he. I'm assuming he'll be able to answer up to 50 questions within the five minutes because of how concise he can be. So anyway, so guys, thank you very much for all for all the uh, the sharing, and I hope you know the disbelief, all the mixed feelings uh, will be will turn up to be very positive as we wish you all the best now guys let's get to the hot seat pad and of course i would want to request nahum to turn your camera on your mic on we want to see your face you know one thing i liked about this hot seat session is that uh people got to to to, to have loads of makeover before they could sit in the hot seat. So basically, we, we saw good makeovers, so which is good. Good to see your face. 
And now, sorry, mine is very hidden for now. No makeover for today. So are you ready? Not quite, but... <laughs> Okay, okay, I will assume you are ready, guys. So I will need a few hands if you're curious about anything. Oh, you did, yeah, was the first person up. So guys, keep the hands coming as I'm preparing this timer. We need more hands before we get started. More hands before we get started. Daisy, I see you there. More hands, okay, Rafa is there. Guys, uh, Nah Nahum is waiting, and we should not let Nahum get away like like what we did with Faith yesterday. That was that was too easy, you know. All right, guys. So I can see we okay. Two more hands. Two more hands before we get started. Two more hands, guys. Okay, and and those who cannot say anything or you can just chat or type on the chat box then i'll be able to read it for now home all right now home uh the drill is very clear you are welcome to, to 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 pass any question that you're not comfortable with and guys you're welcome to ask any question because he he has a um he has a leeway of passing it either way so feel free to ask any sort of question so we are going to get started now, okay, now home. What is your biggest regret? I don't seem to have regrets. I I don't have regrets actually. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. That's a very beautiful way of looking at things. You did, yeah. Do you want to go next? Uh, okay, now home. What makes you uncomfortable? Mm, being in the spotlight, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Nahum has always played in the background. Okay, Daisy, do you want to go? Sure. Um, Nahum, it's March of 2021 and the pandemic has just broken out. What are you doing differently knowing what you know now? Sorry, come again? Um, it's March 2021 and COVID has just broken out. So knowing what you know now, what are you doing differently? You to really bad. Oh, I would probably have joined an academy back then. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, Rafa, do you want to go? Uh, yeah. Hi, Nahum. Uh, so, who is your favorite person in, in the world? My brother. Your brother. Okay, Maren, go. Guys, keep the hands coming. I type. Hi, Maren. <laughs> yes, Maren. I think we, we, we lost Maren. Okay, um, uh, Maren says, asks, what is your favorite alcoholic beverage? A beer. Okay, a beer. All right. Uh, dear Mark, what is your nickname and the story behind it? <laughs> Okay, so my nickname is Fix, F-I-X, and I'm not sure what the story behind it is. It's been with me since the third grade. What, what how did it come up? Did I'm not sure. I don't remember it. It's been with me since <laughs> the third grade. Uh, probably you fix things. Okay, Mariam <laughs> asks, how many slices of bread can you finish at once? <laughs> Five. At once. Okay. This guy is a big eater, so do not <laughs> underestimate. So what is your preference? A cat or a dog? Always a dog. Always. Like always a dog. Amal, go ahead. Um, what's your dream? Uh, financial freedom. Uh, to have a good family. I honestly don't understand what financial freedom usually looks like. But anyway, it's a hot seat. So, Rafa, do you want to go next? Yeah, if you have to die today, I mean, hopefully not, but if you have to, <laughs> what, should, what will you do? 
I don't know saying my final goodbyes, I guess. <laughs> okay, interesting. Enoch, please go ahead. Uh, what is the worst and also the best advice you have received? The worst. I don't know about the worst, but the best one is like, what if it can turn out better than you can imagine? Because we usually think of the opposite of things. Awesome. That's nice. Okay. Um, a quick one. When, when you're taking a shower, do you start from the head or do you start from the legs? Head. <laughs> okay. From the head. Okay. Amal, go. Go next. <laughs> um, what's your view on marriage? On what? Marriage? What's your view on marriage? Yeah, I think it's a beautiful thing, actually. And I would love to get married. Um, uh, do you think love or arrangement? Yeah. Uh, you were planning to get married? Yeah, I was planning, but... What happened? I don't know, we are here now. <laughs> 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 you decided not to. Because of the academy? <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> okay, now people are more interested. Okay, those are more questions. All right, guys, we still have a minute to go. A minute to go. Uh, the worst breakup story. Oh, Daisy, is that a question? Uh, I don't know. Okay, like every, every breakup that, that's like said via text, I don't know. I don't think breakup should be by text. Ah, so you, you something you experienced. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, Amal, the last question from you. Amal, um, what's the most um, <laughs> what's the most embarrassing thing that happened to you? Uh, maybe a growling stomach in an empty class, and a quiet class. <laughs> Okay. Okay. The the very last one from Danette. What is one thing you can't live without besides from your family and friends? My phone. Your phone. Okay, <laughs> guys. Matilda, close for us. I asked in the chat box, what's, what gives you contentment in life? I'm not sure. All right, so time is up, guys. We've actually exceeded about uh, 40 seconds there. So uh, well done, well done at home. I know the spotlight you've even mentioned, it's not the right thing, uh, space for you. So how do you feel about it? How do you feel being on the spotlight today? How did it feel? Nervous, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there, yeah. Okay, so nervous good nervous or the bad nervous you know there's that exciting nervous nervousness out of excitement and nervousness out of i want to get out of here yeah, a bit of both because <laughs> <I've been laughs> of of all right i would say as expected uh, you have managed to respond to 21 questions you see i told you like we were going to break records when it comes to you your answers are very one word answers. And we would like to um, maybe get two comments from anybody else who wants to give feedback. Feedback, feedback, feedback to, um, to Nahom. How did he fare? Okay, Amal says, okay, Rafa, Rafa, do you want to go? Yeah, I think that was really good. And <laughs> as you just mentioned, he gave um, like very accurate thing when he answered and that gave him, uh, gave him time to just have more questions and he know himself somehow yeah that's nice awesome awesome Maron says Nahom you did really well it was fun it was fun grilling you I am telling you I agree with you. Okay, dear Mark is clap, clap, clap on you. So well done, you did well. And I would say uh, one thing that you continue to impress with is uh, your concisiveness does not remove the fact that you are able to respond to questions and people actually understand 
what your responses are and opposed to being concise and leaving people with more questions. So I, I think that is uh, one skill that, uh, that you really are strong at and you know some of us will keep learning and learning from you so well done you did well and yes you might have been nervous but you seemed a bit composed i'm assuming you were moving the legs a lot more we could see some <laughs> movements you are probably tapping your feet and you're like mary you need to get <laughs> done with this i do not want to be on but you did really well so well done and um i hope all goes well on your end Thank you so much, guys. I don't know if there are any announcements from the tutors, uh, Mariam, Desmond, and anybody from the 10 Academy team. Okay, Desmond does have an announcement. So Desmond, go ahead. Um, uh, so uh, one quick announcement. So uh, we were to have a tutorial from uh, 9am UTC. Uh, but I think we have rescheduled it to tomorrow in the afternoon. So we can have the, the tutorial tomorrow in the afternoon. That is for Apache um, Superset. Awesome, awesome. Then you guys, you'll have to disregard the announcement because I'm sure by now there's always a 10 minutes reminder announcement. You have to disregard it. It will be tomorrow then. Okay, thank you, Desmond. Any other announcements? Uh, from my end, um, I think we've, we've managed to post uh, the announcement about the graduation. It's going to be next week. So we'll go, we are going to send more details about uh, what to prepare and what the agenda looks like. And of course, for people like Jeremy would want to know what kind of dress code we are going to be having. Okay, Jeremy, no, not Jeremy as such, like everybody. So, so you guys, we will communicate all that pretty soon. All right, Jeremy, sorry, I'm not on your case. Thank you guys for today and I hope you had fun and let's uh, keep working and let's finish week 12 very strong and on a high note. Bye guys.